St. Columba Orthodox Church in Fernley, Nevada is a Western Rite parish of the Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia. Ministering to his people and the community there in the high desert, Father William Bauer also shares with us some lessons learned. How much money do you give to charity every year? As a nation, we in the United States give $250 billion away every year. Americans give more in a single month than most nations give all year long. And it comes from how we were raised, how, were you, how you were raised, how I was raised, how this nation was raised. Not everybody has this virtue, though. 85 million American households give away money each year to nonprofit organizations. But another 30 million don't. And it goes beyond formal giving. People who go to church tend to give more. And it's not just to churches that they give. They give to people like uh, United Way, Uncle Joe's Barbecue. A lot of non-church charities are out there and People who go to church tend to give a lot of money to those charities. Did you know during the Soviet Union, you could not have a nonprofit agency and you couldn't volunteer at a nonprofit agency because there weren't any to volunteer at. It's a kind of a free will thing. God gave us free will. We use it the way we please. People often ask why there's evil in the world. It's free will. God's not going to take that gift away because it's part of us as his creatures free will. We can do good or not. It's not rich people that give a lot of money away either. The working poor give away at least a larger percentage of their incomes as the rich and a lot more than the middle class. They do middle class. I'm middle class. Poor people give more than me. Well, that's what the statistics say. The charity gap is driven not by economics, but is driven by values, religion, old-fashioned. But you know what? It keeps the economy cooking. If people go to church every week, they're about 25% more likely to give than people who go to church not so often. Religious folks give away nearly four times more dollars per year than people who aren't religious. And on average, they volunteer more frequently too. It's not just religious people giving to churches. I got to say that again. People who go to church are about 10 times more likely than people who don't go to church to give money to explicitly non-Christian organizations. United Way, PTA, church goers gave a lot to what we call 9-11 causes. A belief about government and the government's role in our lives also has an effect regarding charity and what we give or what we don't give. Some people believe um, government should do more to reduce income differences between the rich and the poor. About a third of everybody, as a matter of fact, thinks that way. But another 40% don't favor any forced income redistribution. It's a different worldview. It's not just about taxation either, but it's also in some cases perceived as our duty to do something to help people who are not so well off. That's even scriptural. The charity gap isn't due to any things the government is doing. It's just what we think the government should be doing. It's not just a political opinion either. We hear that conservatives are uh, hard-hearted and liberals are compassionate. Well, guess what? That's not what the stats say. A lot of liberals say the government is spending not enough money on welfare, but somebody is spending money on welfare, the welfare of the people, welfare of people who aren't doing so good. The law just doesn't get it. Like it says in the New Testament, you can't be saved by the law. The law doesn't cover it all. If you live alone, the chances are you're not going to give a lot to charity. If you're in a marriage, you're more likely to give to charity. And the simple act of raising children seems to stimulate giving as well. Children help us fill the collection plate, even as they drain our wallets. Family life is an ideal transmission mechanism for charitable values. People who see their parents give charitably, they do likewise, even when they're adults. Does this mean that being conservative makes you more charitable? Maybe, but maybe attending church makes you more charitable. Conservatives are one-third more likely as liberals to say the government should do something to reduce income inequality. Conservatives also have about 40% more children than liberals. And there's probably no inherently 
conservative thing that makes a person give more. It's God, dare I say it. God, if you have a commitment to God, you're likely to give more. One of my favorite things is to define the word commitment in Latin. The Latin word for commitment is commitare. Commitare means to entrust. Thus, if you have entrusted yourself to God, you're most likely to be a little bit more like him. He's working on you. He's working on me too. Left or right, secular or religious, single or married, the cultural forces of giving and non-giving are not destiny for any of us. You can't buy your way into heaven. Private charity is a choice. It expresses our values in a private and singularly humane way. It's worth remembering that we hold requests for charitable support in our hands this month, this week, all the time, really. If you go out on Walmart and see the guy begging on the corner, how likely are you to give him some money? Well, it's your values. I hope I'm making the right choice. I hope you're making the right choice. It's part of the old work in our salvation out in fear and trembling. Did I do right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just pushing on. Pray and then function. Prayer by itself doesn't work. Functioning by itself doesn't work. You got to do both. Pray and you function. Father William Bauer is the rector of St. Columba Orthodox Church in Fernley, Nevada. The music you hear is Teller of the Tales by Kevin McLeod in Competech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 license. This has been a Western Rite Radio production. Please find us at WROradio.com.